Welcome to Walk Party, a, a Prairie Point quilt sampler, and this is December, our fourth block. So I'm going to show you today how to make this block. This is Autumn Leaves, and we have Cape Cod, and here is Merry Christmas. Okay, here's your instruction sheet for this month and I put a little note on here it says look twice measure twice cut once um, just be really careful watch closely because like on the background fabric it says cut two squares four and a half by four and a half and then you will um, cut these in half twice so I'm gonna go like that and then try to keep those together and then just cut them again cut it twice okay so you're going to have eight little triangles because I had two of those on there then you'll cut four squares for your corner blocks okay I don't have those right now okay the medium fabric cut three squares four and a half by four and a half and you're going to cut one of these in half twice, like I have here, and then two of these in half once. So one, twice, two, once. Just read carefully and make sure you know what you're doing. Um, if you cut two of these like this, or if you cut too many like this, you can always cut them again, but you can't sew those back together. Okay, and then you have, um, two more squares that you'll use for the little pinwheel uh, block in the middle. Okay, medium and dark are exactly the same instructions, so you'll just repeat that. You'll cut out your medium fabric, then you cut out your dark the exact same way. Okay, so we're gonna start with the um, putting together this little unit here okay so there's eight of these in the block four of each color so you're going to take the, the two little um, little triangles that you made and you're going to sew them together and I'm going to do it on here so I can turn this around so I'm going to follow my picture exactly so I'm going to put these on here like this okay so I have the, the background here and the medium here. And I'm going to turn it around so that you can see this is what it will look like to you when you're sewing it. And you don't want to have these switched. Okay, It's very important to have them in the right position. So you're going to put those together. You're going to sew them. Let's see if I was doing it this way. I would pick these up and sew them right along this seam right here. Okay, when you pick them up and you take it to the machine, don't twist this around and go the other way or you've just um, changed the positions of them. You can do it like that. If you wanna start sewing with this corner at the, at the beginning of your stitches, then you can flip it over, but make sure you sew that. One way to remember what to do, which side to sew on, is just to stick a little pin in there or use a little marker or something to remind you that that's the side that you sew on. So after you do that, you will have um, a piece that looks like this, okay? And then this will be pressed to the uh, dark side, or the, the medium side, the darker side of the two. So press it to the medium or to the dark, whichever color you're using, all right? Um, so then you will go to your, um, your iron and press these all to one side. Now I'm going to take this unit that I just made and put it with the matching color of the larger triangle. And what I'm going to do is lay it on here and center it. Okay, now they're not going to be the same size, so don't worry about it. Both of them are oversized to give room for squaring up, and that's a good thing when, when doing this little unit here. Okay, so those are going to go together, and you're going to sew them uh, together right along there. Okay, notice how it's a little bigger on those sides, but I have it centered. It's not uh, bigger, you know, all the way over to one side and then more space on the other. It is centered in there. Sew along there, and you're going to do that four times for the medium. All right, so these are stitched, and then I went and pressed them 
to the, the, in the direction of the larger triangle. So you'll do that to all four of them. Then it's time to square them up. Now you can use your uh, tucker trimmer or I'm gonna show you how to do it using just a regular Creative Grids ruler though that has the half inch extra on here. This is a five and a half inch ruler. We're gonna trim these up to three and a half inches. So you can use any size ruler you want. Um, this, this is a great little one too. Now if you have a big six and a half by 24 inch ruler, you can use it, but it kind of gets in the way. So this has a diagonal line right here on the ruler. So I'm gonna put that diagonal line right there on the block. And I'm going to find my three and a half inch square inside here on this ruler. It says three and a half. Okay, so where the outside edge comes and the three and a half inch line is right there on the seam line. Over here, I have where the three and a half inch lines meet, it's right on the seam line. Same way up here where the two outside edges meet, right on the seam line. Now, when you, as you do it, you look at them and you have to adjust it before you ever start cutting, go back and make sure all three of those are right on the seam line. This one won't be because there's no seam out there, but if these are square, that one will be fine. All right, so I'm gonna put some pressure on there and I'm going to trim it up in those two directions and I'll turn it around and again I'm going to put these on there since those were cut those are good good cuts my three and a half inch lines are right on the edge where I cut okay so I know those are good ones I'm going to finish these making sure that this up here corner comes right on the seam line So that is where some of you end up with um, blocks in which pieces aren't all matching up and coming out at the edge because um, maybe you forget to make sure that those seam lines come right to the corner. So I'm going to do that again, just as a refresher here to show you what to do. Okay, three and a half inches is on here. My corners and lines come to right to the seam line. Put that all on there straight, and then I will cut again. Turn it around, and I will cut. Those are right on the edge. Cut again. Okay, so you're going to do that to all four of them. Then you're gonna repeat that whole process with the dark color. So in this case, I've chosen pink. So I have one of them ready. Again, I'm going to do one more here. Okay, my three and a half inch square on the ruler is right on all the seam lines. This diagonal line going right through there right on the edges, making sure that those points come right on the seam. I keep saying that, but that's really important for a, a nice looking block. Do that to all of the uh, dark colors, medium and dark, and then we will put those together. do according to, to your directions here is to sew um, a medium and a dark together like this so sew them in pairs so you'll have four of these that you'll sew together into pairs looking like this make sure you don't have them turned the wrong way the um, background is going to go towards the outside so we're going to um, sew those and then your little three and a half inch squares that you cut from the background, those are gonna go on the sides of two of these. 
All right, next step number six is to make your half square triangles. So you all know how to do that. Draw the line, so on either side of it, if that's the method you prefer. And then you're going to end up with four half square triangles. I only have two here, but you're going to have four of them. And you're going to square these up. And using, um, of course, again, using your uh, dark and medium triangles. And this is from the ones that you cut four inches. The four and a half inch ones are the ones that you cut on the diagonal. Okay, so we got one. Again, this line is going right on my seam line, and I'm making sure that my three and a half inch square is inside so I can trim up on all four sides of it. The um, rotary mat is made to turn for convenience, but sometimes I prefer just to turn the little unit around. Okay, two, we'll do three and four. Then what you're gonna do is take your little um, <clears throat> accent squares that you cut at one and three quarter inches, and you're gonna lay them on your triangles here. So let me see. I'll cut myself one here real quick. Now we're ready to make the pinwheel blocks, or the, the center pinwheel block. Take your little uh, accent squares with the drawn line on them, and that's the line you're going to sew on. Okay, lay that right there on the corner of the half square triangle block. All right, one thing you gotta be really careful of is that you don't go like that and lay it on this side, okay? On these, you have your medium, um, medium and your dark. Here, I've got medium and dark. I don't want the medium down here because these are going to go together to match like that. If you did it on this side, they don't match. All right, so make sure that you look at the pattern <clears throat> and make sure you have the, the medium here and the dark here when you do that. Okay, so I've done that to all four of these. I've sewed it on there and um, I'm going to trim off my seam. Now, when I sew on lines like that, on little, uh, to make little triangle units, I sew just to the side of the line, like right next to it, so that when I fold it over, that little hill that's created in there, um, the space that it takes up, it kind of helps this to go all the way over. If you sew on the line, or if you get a little bit too far in this way, you'll fold it over and you'll end up like that. And then you, you realize that your um, little unit isn't going to be exactly square by the time you trim this off. So we're gonna cut um, a quarter inch off of that. You can use your scissors if you prefer, but I don't have any here. Okay, now, because when I put these together, I want these seams to interlock, I'm going to press two of them with the seam towards the, the little corner unit, and then two of them with the seam away from the little corner unit. So I'll go do that and then we'll put this together. All right, now I'm going to lay these out on here like so. And I've got this seam here going this way. This one's going this way. This one is going towards the center. This one's going out. So that when I put these together, the seams will go in opposite directions and that will make a less bulky seam there. So I'm gonna sew right along here. I'm gonna mark it so that when I get to the machine, I'll know which side. And put these together. Those seams nest together there, lock. Mark that, and I'm going to sew those two and these two. All right, now we're gonna finish sewing the pinwheel together. So I pressed the, um, these seams in opposite directions. It'll remind you to do that on the pattern. I'll pin those there, make sure that those stay lined up as I sew, and that's gonna go together for your center pinwheel. Then you're going to take 
two of these and sew to the side. So let's pretend like these are already sewed together. Got the green and the orange. So these are going to go here. So you're going to have one big unit here. Then you're going to take the other ones here. And there we go. All right. These will be, this will be the um, little corner squares out here. And so this will be a long unit right there. You sew this unit to this large unit and then this unit on here. And then this is what your block will look like. So because these will all blend in, it kind of, once it, your quilt is quilted, you won't even notice these seam lines here. And they'll just kind of all blend in. It'll look like um, this shape here with a little bit of accent color in the middle. Thanks for watching our block party video. Um, I know you, a lot of you tell me how much you enjoy these and learning um, some of these techniques. And I know for you be beginners, it's probably very helpful. So um, glad you are able to get something out of it. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, I do want to emphasize again, as, as I often do, is when you when you put your units together, squaring these little things up ahead of time and having them the perfect size is going to help you to have your quarter inch seam all the way around the block. Okay, so I have a, a quarter inch seam here. So when this is sewed to another block or to sashing or to something like that or to the border, you don't cut off your points. You want a quarter inch there. Okay, if you sew these together and they're offset a little bit, like maybe they didn't come out right and maybe it's an eighth of an inch longer on one side, rip your stitches out, pin it together starting here at the very edge and sewing this way, easing it in and making sure, make sure that these all come out even all the way around. And if you look at the blocks when you come in for block party, you'll notice that they are, they all have a quarter inch seam and um, they're all even all the way around.